My name is Eddie. I'm the Operations Supervisor here at the Doubletree at Philadelphia International Airport. And we are going to be talking about our 360 Circle of Safety. And while we're doing that today, we're going to be discussing some of the hazards that we have in our, in our parking lot and also going over valeting vehicles as well in our parking lot where we actually account for valet safety um, and guest safety. Three. So we're going to start from here, but we're going to actually go over the process of valeting the vehicle. Here's our green valet ticket. And then we're going to go to the vehicle. Our main, our main objective when the vehicle first pulls up is we greet the guests. We, we instruct where they're going for checking in. And then we're going to actually start the process of the paperwork. We get their last name and then we get their room number after they check in. We want to make sure that we give them the claim check. And then we're going to go actually do a walk around of the vehicle. So the main thing that we want to do is make sure there's no damages, dicks, scratches, dicks, anything, any major damage that we promise we can make it out. Um, make sure the car is actually 100% condition. And then we're going to keep walking all the way around the vehicle. That's where we got the 360 safety. Um, so we're going to walk around the whole vehicle. And now that I have done this, I can actually safely check off that there is no damage on the ticket. Now, if there is damage, I do want to notify the guests that there is damage to their vehicle. I want them also to initial the ticket, knowing so that they are being notified and they're actually signing and saying that they were notified about it. Um, now we're going to actually get into the vehicle and we're going to actually validate it. So now we're in the vehicle. The first thing that we want to do is eliminate all distractions. So the first thing we want to do is turn down the music because that could be a distraction to the valet. The second thing we actually wanna do is actually adjust our mirrors. So that's another way that we are applying the 360 circle of safety. I wanna make sure that I can see through my mirrors very well. And now that I can see that, that means when I go to park my vehicle, I can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so now we're gonna put the car in drive and we're gonna go ahead and park. So we want to make sure that while we're driving, we don't want to go too fast. We don't want to go anything over five miles per hour through our parking lot. It's not that much of a big parking lot as it is. So we're going to be pulling into our space right now. And protocol is, is that we back every vehicle up into the, into the valet slots. So we want to make sure that when we pull up, we want to make sure that we're perfectly aware of our surroundings. We want to make sure as our driveway is, it's only one direction. So we want to make sure there's no vehicles behind us. So we want to make sure we check all our mirrors and our blind spots. And then we're going to go, go ahead and start backing up. I just want to check my mirrors, make sure there's no one around me. And then I go slowly. I'm watching the curb behind me. I can also use the camera right here on the dash to make sure that I'm being completely safe and I'm watching my surroundings. And if you notice, I took my time. I didn't rush. I went very slow. That's the only way that I can actually make sure that the vehicle is safe. Another thing that we want to make sure that we do is that we make sure we straighten the wheel out, make sure that the tires are 100% straight. So that way the next person who will be a different valet on a different shift in the morning, when they unvalet the car, the tires are straight. And when they pull out, they don't have to worry about going in any direction but straight and they have full control of the vehicle. So now the car is back in park. We want to make sure that we turn all the lights off so that way the car is safe and the battery doesn't die. Now, most vehicles, newer vehicles and rental, rental vehicles, which is more of the vehicles we get here at this specific property, have auto lights. But we just want to make sure that it's on auto when we turn the car off. So right now we're going to go over some of our hazards that we have that we face in our property. Um, if you notice to my left here, one of, our, one of our hazards is that this is a blind spot for guests. Guests will walk right out of this door and come right into the flow of traffic. Um, so we try to be mindful of that and we try to keep an eye on guests to make sure that they aren't actually just walking right into traffic. Um, another thing that we have is that our driveway, if you notice, if you look down our driveway, we have our 9.9 .9 foot, six inch clearance at the top. Um, that actually eliminates large vehicles being able to come in. And on top of that, both of you, sir, how are you? Are you checking in with us? Check us to the end to the right, okay? So that's part of the process of while we, while we are valets as well here, we want to make sure that we greet every guest, make sure that they're happy while they're checking in. Um, so now that now we're back to the, to the driveway, we want to point out that our driveway is one flow of traffic on this side and outside of our clearance as well. Um, so while we're valeting, we have to be mindful of other people in our driveway. We have to be mindful of the shuttle bus that you can see one's parked out front right now. 
Um, so when we're, when we're pulling off, we want to be some, most of the time we do beep um, to notify when it's busy um, during high traffic times of the day, during check in and check out, we beep to notify guests that we are moving the vehicle. Um, right now it's pretty dead. As you can see, there's nobody in the driveway right now. Um, so the next, the next thing about our, our, our hazards of our driveway is when after we pull out of the safety circle of the uh, clearing, we also have two other lanes of traffic on the right hand side that we also have to consider as well. So when we're pulling out, we just want to slow down, pulling through. We want to make sure we check our mirrors while we're coming around this area. And then, so that way that the people that are coming through this way, because they're going, instead of checking in, they're going right to our gates to actually park. So we want to make sure that the traffic that's coming through, that we're actually watching them and being courteous to them as well. Three. Another one of our hazards that we have here at the Doubletree is while we're unvaling a vehicle, as I stated before, all this is one flow of traffic. So while we're pulling the vehicle out, we do want to consider the vehicles that are going to be taking this turn right here, um, coming around the parking lot. And we want to make sure, again, that we're being safe as possible while doing this. Um, we don't want to cause any accidents or injuries. Um, if you also notice, some of our parking lot also has poles. Some of them are actually closer to the vehicle when we park. Um, so we want to be mindful that we, we keep these in mind while we're backing up as well. Um, and if you notice, all our cars are in the same line, facing the same direction. Um, we, again, it's all making sure that when we unvalet a car is as simple as possible. We're all following the same rules and regulations about that and making it as easy as possible as well as making it as safe as possible. So we also want to stress, although this may not be 100% safety, but we do want to stress the protocol of the aspect of key control. Um, so. Um, we just want to show how our keys are actually held. Um, we want to make sure that after we park the car, that we lock every vehicle up. And um, here's our key lock, our key, our key base. Um, we want to make sure that we properly put keys, place keys on the, the right numbers, so we, it helps us keep better track of the vehicles that are here with us. Um, every night, you know, our valet comes in on overnight, and every time a new valet comes in on their shift, they should be doing lock checks. Again, that is safety. We want to make sure every vehicle is locked up. We want to make sure there's no personal items within the vehicle that the guests may need that could be stolen. We want to minimize as much damage done to the vehicles as much as possible. So here's our key, our key, our key rack. Um, again, numbered um, numerically. So we want to make sure as well while we're closing the doors that we secure the door 100%. Take our keys, we turn it back, lock it, and we want to pull it just to make sure. We want to make sure that anybody walking by doesn't have access to it. One of our other things we also want to stress is baggage baggage handling. Um, we want to make sure that while we are, um, you know, taking baggage out of the out of vehicles that we are valeting and we're helping guests with their luggage, that we use proper safe safety rules. That we want to provide is we want to make sure that we're lifting it safely. We want to make sure that we bend with our knees, not with our back, so that way we cause less damage to our bodies. Um, and as well as we don't want to damage their their luggage as well either. Um, so. Again, we want to make sure that, as you can see, we're here in the trunk of someone's valet car um, that we're about to valet. Um, and we want to make sure, again, with higher vehicles, we lift straight out with our knees bent and we place on the ground and then we help them inside. And if it's a lower car, we want to make sure that we bend our knees, we lift up, bring out, and then we help the luggage inside. So the last thing that we actually want to discuss tonight is weather um, and weather conditions. Um, here in Philadelphia, we actually get numerous different types of weather conditions. We get extreme heat and, and humidity um, during the summertime, and then the wintertime we get a lot of snow. Um, and then we get the torrential rains between fall and, and spring. So with those weather conditions, we want to make sure that we, we're dressed appropriately for work. During the wintertime, we want to make sure that we have gloves, hats, and shoes, the proper shoes, you know, slip resistant shoes um, that is provided for us by AAA. Um, we also want to make sure that we, if we need to wear long johns, we're wearing long johns because if we're cold, then we're uncomfortable. We want to make sure that we're as comfortable as possible while we're working. We can get our work done. We have no complaints after that. Um, during the torrential winds and rain, rains, we want to make sure that we have a, a jacket, light jacket over us, or that way we're not too wet or we have some, a towel or something to keep us dry. Um, also, during heat, we want to make sure that we drink a lot of water. We want to make sure that we stay hydrated. Um, and make sure that we wear our short sleeve shirts, not too much under it, so that way it causes more heat for us or we're, we're sweating more. Because um, we are, we do remain pretty active walking through the parking lot. Um, during the snow, we want to make sure while driving the vehicles that we take extra care and driving through through the 
the parking lot and parking because with ice and snow and wet temperatures and wet uh, moisture on the ground, the vehicle is more susceptible to actually slip and slide. So we want to make sure that we take into account of our area then as well. We also during in our driveway when there's snow on the ground. We want to make sure that the guests aren't slipping and falling. We want to make sure that our, our, our driveway is actually kept um, shoveled and clear. Um, and thank you. This is our 360 safety circle. Um, and we appreciate you guys stopping by and, and letting us video this for you. Thank you.